Ready? Yep. Set. Hello! It's Andy again from the EgoCast channel. And I actually found somebody with a more annoying intro than mine. Aquaba, y'all! So, Huru, my name is Gazi Kudzo, and I am a leader in the African People's Socialist Party. Right? Am I right? And this over here, this male assassin, toilet seat complexion individual, is actually my comrade! Oh my god, crazy, right? What the fuck? What'd you, what'd you say? He's my comrade, and his name is... Jesse. And he is... National Chair of Uhuru Solidarity Movement. What the fuck is happening? This is the weirdest video I think I've seen so far. Uhuru! So, Jesse, have you heard some of my people kidnapped one of your people, put them in a... Oh shit, is Jesse learning disabled? Oh, that sucks. Poor learning disabled Jesse. Put him in a tub and beat him up a little bit. You know, they scraped him up a little bit, tied him, went on live stream and stuff about it. Have you heard about it? Well, I haven't heard about what the fuck you're talking about, but I've heard of something very similar. I did. I heard about it. Crazy, right? But actually, it's not so crazy since, you know, your people built an entire capitalist, imperialist society on top of my people. You know, you want to talk about kidnapping and torture. Can we talk about the almost 700 years of kidnapping and torture of African people? The reason why I'm here speaking English in this fluent white girl tongue right now. Okay? 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 What the fuck? Is because my people, okay, was kidnapped and tortured and put in, was put into this system, okay? Whoa, that's how you know the Matrix is, is being rewritten. Agents are coming after them. So, if you want to talk about kidnapping and torture, then you need to talk about what built the United States of America, which was kidnapping and torturing, okay? Yeah, but, but you can't really... And the torturing that goes on right now in America. What torture is that? What? But we have to watch television and see our children being murdered in the streets, being murdered in the playgrounds, being murdered in beds, getting their water poisoned, having their daddies and mommies pushed into these mass incarceration prisons, which is just, you know, slavery 2.0. Yeah, but nobody's forcing them to commit... What? That's torture, okay? When you push a people and you take our resources away, our gold, our minerals, our diamonds, our land away, and then force us to be, you know, submissive to you just to get a welfare motherfucking check. What the... What, what the fuck are you... What? Okay? That is torture. When we have to fight amongst each other just to live. When we have to rob each other just to live. Wait, wait, what? What? just to eat. That's what you call torture, okay? So this whole moral equivalency that the colonial media, when I say colonial media, I mean cracker media, white media, imperialist media, white power media, capitalist media. Media. <laughs> what in the fuck is going on? That's what we're talking about, right, Jesse? Yes. And tell the people why, why am why is the colonized people and the colonizer people not equal in this situation? Because what they're trying to depict is these four African teenagers are just bad, horrible people and this innocent white man. There's no such thing as an innocent white man. Jesse, can you tell that to the people? Wow. Yes, I mean, every dream and aspiration of every white person comes at the expense of every African person in this country and on this planet. We are a colonizer population. We live on the backs of African people. So when an African person whose backs we sit on r rises up and tries to push us off, that is not the same. You cannot judge that with the same moral compass mm -hmm. as you would the behavior of the one who's been lynching and murdering and raping African people for hundreds of years. Exactly, Jesse. Wow. Okay. Well, <sighs> that goes on. I mean, I, I was able to hang in for three minutes there. I mean, I, it goes on for like 16 minutes and it's non-stop that dude never takes a breath and it's so surreal every time he points to the fucking other dude behind him and it's shot really weird with the guy in the background and the other like they're not even really conversing like he's not even looking at the oh dude it's such a weird video and it just, it works its way into your brain and it drives you crazy. It's just this, I mean, I didn't realize what power some black people thought that white people had over them. Like, we're forcing them to do all this. 
somehow it's this grand conspiracy that we're all in on. It, it, it's insane ramblings. It is lunacy. I mean, the way that that diminishes black people and their role in their own lives to act like white people control everything they do. We're enslaving them in prisons and we're forcing them to rob and kill each other and it, I, 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 I just, I, I don't, I, I mean, I, I realize I'm not making a whole lot of points in this. I'm not bringing up statistics and all that shit because I just, in that three minutes, he, he, 50 fucking points that I could be like, Wah. and it's all been done before. I, and I, and it's boob week. I'm just looking at boobs and boy, is that a pair of boobs right there? I mean, wow. Um, but yeah, it's a crazy video. If you want to sit down and just listen to that dude screech and fucking 16 minutes of just how white people control everything that black people do and it's not black people's fault. He talks at one point where he's like, I don't even believe in white people with disabilities. Like, like it's and it's not even like he doesn't believe they exist. He realizes they exist, he just doesn't give a fuck. Like, this guy is off his rocker. And... I was just like, wow, whatever. Okay. That's crazy. Just crazy. So I made him my featured boobs today! Yay! That dude and his white slave. <laughs> uh, well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Um, usually I'm funnier than this. Uh, and, and check out my Patreon to give me money. And I have, I have, I'm going to warn everybody ahead of time. I have a really, really distasteful video that I have decided to make for my Patreon, like, advertisement for myself. It's, it's, it's definitely my sense of humor. <laughs> me and, me and James sat here and, and came up with the idea with it today. So, yeah, that's coming in the future. So... Can't wait to share that with y'all. Um, and till next time, have a good day and bye bye.